You can see me play live and get gameplay like you'll see in this video by subscribing and looking out for my streams. I'll see you there. I haven't released a full edited video in over a month. I believe it's the longest gap between two video posts since I started my channel. Uh, now I did release a short, one of those newfangled mini vids that YouTube has now, but that doesn't really count. And I enlisted it anyway because I quickly realized that the advice to start a separate short channel rather than post them on your main channel is absolutely correct and on point. Uh, now this gap of over a month and my now posting of this video tells you, I guess, four things. One, there's not much Battlefield content to make that's particularly worthwhile or inspiring, which I mean, duh, this is what happens when a series has no new in-game content due to early cancellation, thank you Battlefield 5. Two, it tells you that I didn't die, I do still actually exist. Three, it tells you that I didn't quit YouTube, I'm still here. And four, it tells you that YouTube is awful at communicating to established subscriber bases when the creator of that channel switches up their production. Because I am actually releasing more content than ever before in my YouTube career, and I mean more by a truly huge degree, and yet I've had people literally message me to ask if I'm okay because they haven't seen me put anything on YouTube. I didn't think to save any of those messages at the time, so thanks to those who did send them, and I'm sorry about that. But yeah, people thought something had gone really severely amiss with me. So by now it should be clear that this isn't some clickbait drama-filled Battlefield commentary. Of course it still pertains to Battlefield and the crazy mismanagement of BF5, but it's not our focus today at all. Because while many Battlefield creators either stopped making content or moved to other games, by other games I mean Warzone, I personally stepped backwards in time. I went back to Battlefield 1, and by that I mean I stream it damn near every day. Yep, if you've been a long-term subscriber on this channel, and you had no idea I stream here on YouTube almost every single day, I'll tell you that that's no surprise to me, because oh my god YouTube, please start to actually utilize subscriber bases again, because at the minute, YouTube creators rely upon their sub base to get an initial push for their content, and then after that it's almost purely down to recommendations. That mythical algorithm that decides who wins and who loses, and with Battlefield being, well let's say, not exactly a popular subject matter currently, or you could say dead if you wanted, it's been a struggle. And so that's also a solid reason why I stopped making videos. I didn't intend to not post for a month or anything, it wasn't a calculated thing, uh, but the traction simply isn't there for Battlefield content on the whole, so I'm less incentivized to put my hours and voice and effort into playing it to make those videos. Instead, I put all of those things into streaming it for the small community that is still interested. And honestly, uh, it's a complete total blast. I'm blown away that we generally sit at between 100 to 200 concurrent viewers on a game that's four or five years old when I've only returned to streaming here on YouTube like, what, three, four months ago? Not long, really. So yeah, it's been great. Thank you so much for those that do watch. And if you do want to join the genuinely awesome community we have over on the streams, do it. It's a phenomenal group, top tier. I love what we have going on over there. I call it the best community in Battlefield and in my purely biased personal opinion, I'm yet to find another one that matches it. So I do stream almost every day, starting at 4.30pm UK time, that's 11.30am US Eastern time, 8.30am Pacific time, I think, 5.30pm in Germany, and you can Google for anywhere else as well. But yeah, the point is, Battlefield creators have had to adapt, big time. Our outlook for content creation basically got thrown right out of the window, and while sometimes you may think a certain creator has given up, stopped caring, moved to something else or whatever, and it turns out to be true, sometimes it's just a case of discoverability being poor, so you have no idea that actually they're still providing something you likely can enjoy. And this will all blow back up again to a massive degree, come Battlefield 6 of course, especially if it turns out to be good, which oh my god fingers crossed it is, please let Battlefield 6 be good. I expect massive amounts of content come the release of not just the main game, but info drops from DICE, the alpha, the beta, whatever, and expect to see a whole host of creators come back from Warzone, or come back from simply not making content. Now I personally have four pages worth of bullet points of video ideas for Battlefield 6 as soon as it releases. I've got them written down in my phone right now and I'm always adding to it. I'm ready and so my video content output will hit a new level that this channel has never seen before when the time comes. And as this video shows, I do still intend to put out videos at times up until BF6 releases. I'm actually working on two other ones right now as well, one on if Battlefield 1 is worth it in 2021 and the other on the concept of Battle Royale within the Battlefield franchise. But streaming really will be the main focus, and perhaps gameplays from the streams as videos which I was doing for a little while or I posted like maybe 
three or four of them a couple months ago or so. But other than that, I mean, there's just simply not a whole lot of other worthwhile content to make on Battlefield. And I don't want to just milk views with low level videos. I'm just not about that. And I don't want to put that out to you. You deserve good stuff, worthwhile stuff. And that's what I want to do. Entertainment comes before money. And I know that having a channel that makes good stuff is the best move in the long term anyway, so it comes full circle. And now, after I said all that about how I'm still on Battlefield, how I'm actually focusing my current content mainly on a Battlefield that's four or five years old, it opens me up to the ever-present criticism of why don't you branch out? Why are you playing safe? Are you a one-trick pony? And I get it. I do. I understand that kind of thought if there hasn't been any more detailed analysis done. Now, this also goes hand-in-hand hand with the opposite, that when you do branch out, you're open to being accused of abandoning that which brought you the platform form that you have. The key is to not really worry about it either way, but regardless, it's a thing and I've actually received both. Months back, I switched to reviewing games and doing video essays with varying success, as you'd expect for such a drastic switch. Some stuff got like 50k views, some got 100 plus k views and whatever, whereas other videos pulled less than 10,000. Either way, it showed that it was a viable option for me, for what I can do, for what my talent pool is, but I eventually realized two things. One, it's really hard to compete with multi 100k channels that have been doing reviews for a long time that get early access to codes that perhaps I don't get uh, due to how YouTube works. You know, if you're not first, you're last with the algorithm. And two, I just didn't like the constant pressure of having to produce stuff so quickly to hit the available market right after release. It didn't allow me to make the kind of content I wanted and I didn't feel like it was as in-depth and detailed enough for what I want to put out there. And so while I fully intend to diversify at least somewhat over my YouTube career, I don't feel instantly pressured anymore to make it happen right now. Instead, I'll take the opportunities as and when they come. And so that means that, at least for the foreseeable future, I'm on Battlefield, at least mainly. I'm engaged in the game and the community, and I'm having fun, which I hope means that some of you will be happy to have me stick around. I'll still have the goal of hitting the first target I ever set for myself when I started 100,000 subscribers, and we'll get there, I know it, I have confidence, and then we'll push further. If you want to be part of that, if you enjoyed this video, subscribing is free, I love this community we have, and we can benefit each other. If not, well I hope you enjoyed the few minutes you spent watching my content today. You know what to do with the like button, it does help the videos on the channel. Leave your thoughts about any aspect of what we've covered today in the comments if you like. I always like reading what you guys got to say, or most of the time at least. And all the links to my Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Instagram etc are also in the description. Now a special thanks to my fantastic Patreon supporters on the board of awesome. It really does mean a huge amount to me having your support, as well as the channel members who sign up mainly via the streams, but you can do it on the videos, by using the join button below for channel perks. And with that all said, I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time. Laters. And I like that. I just like the world gun for being a well-rounded option. Kind of a jack of all trades, but not in that mediocre way. It's actually pretty good at it. Not an optimal choice for anything, but good enough for everything that you don't feel like you're massively lacking anywhere or can't play in a very open and free fashion. Give it a try if you haven't before and see if you like it.